Hi guys, so I put on Instagram not too long ago this makeup look. A lot of you guys wanted a tutorial so I thought I'd put a tutorial up. And when I was looking at the look, I kind of thought of prom. So I thought I would make a prom look out of it and do my hair and makeup and just do a prom look into one. I'm not going to carry on rambling. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I hope everyone's okay. And yeah, I feel like it's going to be a long video so get some snacks, get a cup of tea. Get your notes out with what you need to get and yeah, enjoy the video. So I've already done my eyebrows just to save time. I do have an in-depth tutorial which I put up a few days ago. So if you do want to know how to do my eyebrows, then look in the description box and a link will be there. To prime my eyelid, I use Painty Paint Bot by MAC. I don't know why, but I always get a bit nervous to do makeup looks that I've already done because it's like, what if it doesn't turn out like that again, you know? It's a, it's a big risk in life. Okay, so I'm taking Anastasia Beverly Hills Deep Plum Eyeshadow. I'm gonna use a MAC 217. Okay, so this is gonna go in the crease and you wanna directly put it in the crease. I always start on the outer bit first just to make sure that the most product's there and then I work my way. I, I can't talk when I'm doing makeup. Oh, why do I do makeup tutorials? Um, as I was saying, I just work my way into the crease, but I start more here. One thing that I recommend with eyeshadows is start off with a little product. Um, you don't want to put loads of product on the brush, it won't blend nicely, it won't be gradual, it will just look like a block. And we want gradual unless you're going for the block effect. So yeah, just build up rather than put in loads. It, trust me, it works 10 times better if you start off lightly. I also, what I tend to do is I get a tissue and I wipe along as I go, just so less product is on the brush and then it will like blend better. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, why? I would recommend as well, make sure you tilt your brush upwards like this. You don't want to go like this. You don't want to go like this, like this way because the color will tend to go on the lid. You want to put it in the crease. So I like to put my brush up like this and then work my way in the crease. And I'm going to take this brush by MAC. I don't know what it is. I really don't. Like the wood has actually fully come off. I'm going to take Caramel by Anastasia. I'm just going to start to diffuse this other color out, just making it more of a gradual effect. I feel like I need to go in a little bit deeper with the deep plum colour, so I'm just going to go back in and make it darker. And then I'm going to take this eyeshadow stick, this is called Better Up, it's by The Balm. I'm going to use the shade Moonshot. These eyeshadow sticks are literally life. So I'm just going to spread it all over the lid first. And then I'm going to get a flat brush and just blend it out. I'm going to take this eyeshadow by Anastasia as well. This is called Macaroon. And I'm just going to pack that on the lid. I'm going to use that deep plum eyeshadow and then I'm going to use hot chocolate also by Anastasia Beverly Hills. Mix them both together and continue to just work in the crease. I don't know if anyone else gets this, but I find it really, really hard to finish my eyes if I haven't done like eyeliner or lashes. I don't know why. It's the weirdest thing ever. I'm going to do liquid eyeliner now because I can't seem to finish the eyes without doing it. So I use two liquid eyeliners. I use one by The Balm and I use this Black Magic one by Ico. This one by Ico I use for precision and then the one from The Balm I use to make it dark.
like to like really tilt my head to make sure I'm getting a straight line. I'm gonna curl my eyelashes and put mascara on. I'm gonna use the YSL mascara. I am in love with this mascara. Like I've only just started using it and it is literally the best thing that has come into my life. And I don't even rate mascaras much, but this is a good sign. The lashes I'm gonna use are from Lily Lashes in the style Hollywood. I have used these lashes before, which is why they've got glue on them and stuff, but with these ones, you can use them. I think it's up to 25 times or something like that. Best lashes ever. If you wanna buy some of these lashes, then I have a discount code, which I will also put in the description box. So I'm just gonna keep going in with the eyes. Um, the ba Basically the key is you just need to just work gradually with the look and it will come together how you want it. I'm gonna wait for the eyelashes to dry and then I will sort out the rest of the eyes. I'm gonna prime with Marc Jacobs Primer. And I'm gonna use some of Benefits Professional just in areas with pores. So for me that is here and here. For foundation, I'm going to use NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. You guys already know this is my favourite foundation. This one is dark for my face and neck, but I match my face and neck to my body. And I don't know why, but my face and neck are way lighter than my body. I prefer to be more tan, so I'll match my face and my neck to my body. And I'm just going to use a beauty blender. This is a damp beauty blender. I feel like it blends way better. This better be good because I'm filming. Uh, um, okay, so Jess, can we talk about this after? I'm actually filming. It's good for bloopers, isn't it? No, it's not going to go in the beauty bloopers. <laughs> I'll call you after. Bye. Bye. Then I like to get whatever's on my hand and use a foundation brush and blend it on the neck because I'm not that girl that you're gonna see with like the line. It's not gonna happen. So make sure you blend it in properly. And I also like to use the brush and just just dab everything. Then I like to use NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer on areas of the face. Um, I don't really have blemishes on my face too much. I like to put it in these areas because it's where my foundation first wears off, but when it does wear off. Okay, so for concealer underneath the eyes, I use the Amazing Cosmetics Amazing Concealer, and I mix the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Concealer both together. My little sister told me to do this, and Shay, I can't thank you enough. It's a good time doing this. And I also blend this with my beauty blender. Oh, hair everywhere, oh, hair. And once I've done that, I'm gonna use my Laura Mercier translucent powder and just like tap it underneath the eyes. I don't normally do this, I used to, but the main reason why I'm, well, the reason why I am doing this now is because my powder's running out and I ain't got powder to bake, so I've now got to sit here and tap it on, but it still works really, really well. I should have another one coming today. It was meant to come yesterday, but it didn't, and I'm really sad about it. So hopefully it should come today because I can't deal without that powder, like it's my life. I also powder here and on my forehead. Okay, I'm gonna finish off the eyes. I'm gonna use that deep plum color again. Use a bit of that caramel as well and go underneath. I'm gonna use the same YSL mascara and do my bottom lashes. I'm gonna use my liquid eyeliner and just make sure that that lash band is covered. Now I need to bronze up my face because I really 
I'm looking pale. I've been so pale recently, but it's because I've had like the flu, I've been really ill. I'm gonna use the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit. I kind of just like, just dot whatever. Oh, I'm using a MAC 168. I like to go in circular motions. I don't really keep it in, I always, I never go below here, but I always do circular motions and then I feel like it just blends so much better. I like to put some on my forehead just to put a bit of color back in my life. I highlight I'm gonna use MAC Luster Drops first. They don't do this colour anymore, this is called Sun Rush, they do other ones. Um, I've got the other one, it's called Barbados Girl. Can't lie, I don't like it. It's just not the same as this one, it's just... I think it's my skin tone though. I feel like if you're darker, it'd be a lot better for you. For highlight, I'm going to use Max Gold Deposit. I'm also going to use Anastasia Beverly Hills So Hollywood Illuminator. I'm also going to put this in the inner corner of my eye. Cupid's bow. Took my nose too. Brow bone. I'm going to use Max Blusher in Raisin. I'm gonna line my lips with World Lip Liner by MAC. I'm gonna use Makeup Forever Rouge Intense Artist Lipstick in MAC 1. Okay, so makeup is done, time for the hair. I'm gonna apply some hair serum. This is by Mix Chicks. And I'm just gonna apply that all in my hair, especially my hair because I've just washed it. And when my hair's just been washed, it's very fly away and does what it wants. It doesn't listen. So yeah, you wanna make sure it is completely brushed out like that. I do have hair extensions in, by the way. I'll put the link to the exact extensions I've got in and a discount code. You just want to section off the hair. So the hair tool I'm going to be using is the Numi Curl Jam set. It comes with three different curl barrels so it comes in 19mm, 25 and 32. It also comes with a hair straightener, styling iron if you want to call it that. So amazing. So, and I always say this and I've said this in another video before, Make sure when you're curling your hair that the hair is flat rather than just going like that because the heat won't get to all of the hair. So make sure when you're wrapping it around the hair is like nicely flat on. That makes sense. And then leave it on for a bit. These curl in two seconds so you don't want to do it too much. And I just like to capture it. Leave it there for a few seconds and then let it drop. So I'm just going to carry on doing that the whole way through my hair. I'm sure you guys don't want to sit here watching me curl my hair so I'm going to speed up the video. Normally this set is $200 I believe but I do have a discount code for you guys which is Jade Pierce in all capitals. I'll put it in the description box anyway so that you'll know. But the offer is you can get this for $100. So in the UK it's probably around £70, £80. And then the shipping is $10 as well. So from $200 that's a good time. I'll put all the information like the website, the link and the discount code in the description box. I also have another one which I also have and it's really really good as well but it doesn't come with like three different barrels or like the straightener. So yeah there's another offer and it's any one for $49 and free UK and US shipping so I'll put that in the description box as well.
I'm not sure if I've already mentioned it, but I'm using the 25mm barrel. I'm gonna hairspray my hair like while it's cooling down and stuff. I'm using the Elna hairspray. You know when you've got like one more section to do and it makes your life really, really happy. Yeah, me right now. I'm gonna tie this bit away so I don't get confused. This section is my hair and I don't wanna, I'm not gonna curl from the root just because I don't wanna curl from the root. Ow, I just burnt myself every single time. The thing is, yeah, the thing is, it comes like this, yeah, with the barrels and the straightener and it actually has a glove with it. Do I ever use gloves? Like, no, and then I burn myself every time and I get shocked. I like ridiculous. So if you do get this, make sure you use a glove because you don't want to be an idiot like me. I'm gonna brush this bit out. I actually like my hair like this. I was gonna do my hair half up, half down, but I really like how it's turned out. So I'm just gonna keep it like this. But what I'm gonna do is like slick my baby hair, just make sure it's all neater and stuff. I'm using the Cream of Nature um, edge control with just like a random brush. I'm just gonna put that bit back like that. And then spray it one more time. Cute. I love how my hair has turned out. I'm like happy. <laughs> oh my god, I've just remembered. I didn't spray my face with Fix Plus earlier. I'm losing my marbles. Okay guys, so this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you have an amazing prom if you're going to prom. And if you're not going to prom and you just want to do this makeup look, then go true. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!